15 Things You Didn't Know About Maserati Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're revealing some interesting and surprising facts about Maserati, an Italian luxury car brand that has been manufacturing cars for over 100 years. Maserati was established on December 1, 1914 in Bologna, Italy by Alfieri, Bindo, El Torre and Ernesto Maserati. Alfieri, Bindo, and Ernesto worked in a partnership with Italian manufacturer Diato to build Grand Prix cars. In 1926, the brothers cut ties with Diato and began building cars under the Maserati marquee. Maserati has had several owners over its 100 plus years of existence. The Maserati brothers, the Orsi family, French car manufacturer Citroën, Argentinian industrialist Alejandro de Tomaso, and Fiat, which became the sole owner in 1993. In 1997, Fiat sold 50% of its share in Maserati to Ferrari, which took full control of the brand in 1999. Over the years, Maserati has introduced its unique brand of luxury in distinctive cars, such as the Maserati 3500, Quattroport, Gilbley, Gran Turismo, Levante, and Alfieri. Maserati has had many ups and downs over the years, but the brand is now stronger than ever and has broken its sales record every year since 2010. Also, Maserati seems ready to evolve with the shift toward all electric vehicles without compromising on luxury and power, so we're excited to see what this brand will offer in the future. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. We know how many of you Aluxers out there have a Maserati or two in your must-have list. So let's take a closer look at this Italian manufacturer with the 15 things you didn't know about Maserati. Number 1. The Trident logo was drawn by one of the Maserati brothers. The Trident logo was designed and drawn by the most artistic Maserati brother, Mario. Mario was the only one out of the brothers who was not interested in engineering or being a part of the automotive industry, but his contribution to the Maserati brand still stands today. He was inspired by a famous landmark located in the brothers' hometown of Bologna, Italy, the Fountain of Neptune in the Piazza Maggiore. He saw Neptune's trident as a symbol of strength. Number 2. The first car created under the Maserati brand was the Tipo 26. The basis of the design of the Tipo 26 was created by Alfieri Maserati, when the Maserati brothers were working in collaboration with fellow Italian manufacturer Diato on a Grand Prix car. When Alfieri took the design to the workshop the Maserati brothers had established in Bologna, they brought the Tipo 26 to life as the first official car manufactured under the Maserati brand. They debuted the car at the 1926 Targa Florio race in the mountains of Sicily, with Alfieri behind the wheel, and they took first place in the Grand Prix class and ninth overall. Number 3. Maserati started as a spark plug manufacturer. In the beginning, Alfieri and Ettore Maserati were known as brilliant engineers who designed spark plugs for vehicles. After World War I broke out, the brothers were enlisted by the Italian government to design and manufacture spark plugs for military aircraft engines. After the war, the brothers set up shop in an old bottle factory in Bologna and continued to manufacture spark plugs, but also started to branch out more into race car engine production. Maserati are of course driven by a number of celebrities all over the world, and the list of Maserati owners includes Bradley Cooper, Britney Spears, Cameron Diaz, Lionel Messi, Fiddy Send, Gwen Stefani, Kylie Minogue, and Tyrese Gibson. Number 5. In 2013, a Maserati was sold for a record-breaking $6.1 million at auction. In 2013, a 1955 Maserati 300S sports racing Spider broke a record when it became the most expensive Maserati ever sold at auction. The car was raced at the 1955 running of the 12 Hours of Sebring, coming in third, and it also achieved several other podium finishes in the 1955 season. It was also featured in the 1950s in Sports Car Illustrated, which is now Car and Driver magazine. The Maserati sold for $6.1 million. Number 6. The Maserati brothers left the company they founded. 
When Alfieri Maserati died in 1932, his brothers Bindo, Ernesto, and Ettore kept the company going for five more years, but then decided to sell their shares in Maserati to the Aldolfo Orsi family in 1937. The Maserati brothers continued to work for Maserati under the Orsi family as paid employees under a contract of 10 years, but in 1947, when the contract was up, they established a new race car and sports car manufacturing company called Asuka, but it never was very successful. Number 7. Maserati was in business for over 30 years before producing their first road car. In the first few decades of its existence, Maserati was in business for over 30 years before producing their first road car. In the first few decades of its existence, Maserati was more focused on components and race cars and wasn't very interested in manufacturing a road car for the general public. That changed in 1947, when they built the A6 1500, the first official Maserati production road car. The A6s were a series of grand tourers, racing sports cars, and single-seaters produced between 1947 and 1956. The A in the name comes from Alfieri Maserati, and the 6 comes from the straight-six engine. Number 8. Maserati is the only Italian car company to win the Indy 500. Although it's been many years, Maserati remains the only Italian car manufacturer to have won the Indy 500, and they actually won it in back-to-back -back years in 1939 and 1940. American racing driver Wilbur Shaw won the Indy 500 both years with the 8 CTF with a straight 8 engine, designed by Ernesto Maserati. Number 8. Maserati introduced their first crossover SUV in 2016. In the spring of 2016, Maserati introduced its very first crossover SUV with the Maserati Levante at the Geneva Motor Show. The car represents a new segment for the luxury car company, and it allowed the company to almost double the number of Maserati sold in a one-year span since its release. The 2017 Maserati Levante has a base price of $72,600. Number 10. Enzo Ferrari refused to meet with the Italian president because he was driving in a Maserati. Sandro Pertini was elected president of Italy in 1978, and shortly after he selected the Maserati Quattroport as his official vehicle. President Pertini rode in this car to just about every engagement, which included a trip to Enzo Ferrari's factory in Maranello, Italy. When the president stopped by Ferrari's factory, Enzo refused to welcome him at the gate because of Ferrari's intense rivalry with Maserati. If you want to learn more about Enzo and his powerful car brand, click in the upper right hand corner to check out our video of 15 things you didn't know about Ferrari. Number 11. Maserati gets free advertisement from their placement in TV shows and movies. When you see a car get prime placement in a TV show or movie, you might think that the car company had to pay big bucks to get their car chosen over all of its competitors, and you would usually be correct. Car companies can end up paying up to $10 million in product placement fees and advertising promotions for the privilege of their car being featured, but Maserati does things a little differently and does not make a practice of paying for appearances. Still, their cars have been featured in high-profile roles, including in movies like Casino Royale, The Godfather 3, and Scarface, and TV shows like Entourage and Californication. Number 12. The Shah of Persia commissioned a Maserati 5000 GT. The Maserati 5000 GT is one of the rarest Maseratis ever made, with only 30 ever produced. Mohamed Reza Pahlavi loved the Maserati 3500, but wanted something more exclusive. He asked Maserati to place a modified 5-liter engine from the Maserati 450S in the chassis of the Maserati 3500 GT. Maserati took this a step further and created the first 5000 GT, which they called the Shah of Persia. The Shah received the first model in 1959 with customized gold trim details. Eagles band member Joe Walsh was singing about his custom 5000 GT in the Eagles song Life's Been Good with the lyric My Maserati Does 185. I lost my license, now I can't drive. Number 13. They were commissioned to build a car for Mussolini. Benito Mussolini commissioned Maserati to build him a custom car that will be able to outperform the custom car Hitler had commissioned. However, the project never actually got off the ground, as Maserati soon had to focus on projects more critical to the war effort. Number 14. Maserati beat out other high-end car manufacturers to have their brand featured in the 2011 film Limitless. 
Maserati stopped hiring product placement consultants in 2008, but are still able to beat out their competitors for feature spots in TV shows and movies, simply because of their willingness to be flexible. For example, the director of the 2011 Bradley Cooper film Limitless needed two identical high-end cars that could be delivered to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico in two weeks' time, and the company had to be willing to let Bradley drive the car on cobblestone streets. The director said such a process would usually take months to arrange, but Maserati jumped right in and made it happen with their Gran Turismo Coupe. Again, Maserati did not have to pay any product placement fees because of their flexibility. Number 15. Italian car design company Pini Farina created the one-of-a-kind Maserati Birdcage 75th concept car. The body of the Maserati Birdcage 75th was drawn up by the Italian car design firm Pini Farina to celebrate its 75th birthday. The concept car was introduced at the 2005 Geneva Motor Show, and its name honors the classic Maserati birdcages of the 1960s. The exterior is made of carbon fiber, and there's no door. You have to raise a bubble canopy that includes most of the front bodywork in order to access the interior. It's powered by the Ferrari Maserati F140 V12 engine, which has been tuned to produce 700 horsepower. The car toured the world and is now retired as a part of Pini Farina's collection. Now that you've learned more about Maserati, where do you think it ranks among the luxury car brands of today? Let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.